everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video for Sewing for Noobs episode 7 we are going to make a drawstring bag. Uh, this can be made any size that you want so feel free to change the size from the pattern I'm going to give you in the link down below and uh, it's just to show you how to make a channel and how to fit through some kind of ribbon or lace through it because that's a very handy thing to know especially if you're doing elasticated waistbands and things like that i'm going to use mine for when i'm traveling in october i'm going to japan and i'm going to keep my shoes separated from my clothing okay let's get started with the tutorial all right so once you have your pattern you should cut two main body pieces make sure that uh, you clip all the notches that's very important to always do that and you should have two bands of fabric for your channel you can use a contrasting color if you want to i didn't have anything that match what i had so the first thing we are going to do is to hem the short sides on our fabric bands so on each side what we're going to do is fold our fabric towards the inside so towards the wrong side of the fabric and we're going to turn it twice half a centimeter each time use the iron just to press everything in place and it will uh, make things a lot easier for you so the next thing is to top stitch each of the short ends um, if you want a refresher on how to do a top stitch i invite you to watch my pillowcase tutorial i'm going to link it down below so the next thing you're going to fold your band of fabric in half lengthwise and just press everything together pressing always makes everything easier and you're going to repeat that with the other band so then you're going to take one of your body piece and you're going to take one of your band of fabric and we are going to add the band of fabric to the top of the body piece so you're going to match the raw edges together and as you can see the band is smaller than the body piece simply because we have already hemmed it so you're going to have to pin your band of fabric in between the notches so that's why it's very important that you always clip your notches so you know where to place items or how they need to match up next you can just sew everything in place with a straight stitch and a one centimeter seam allowance don't forget to finish up your seam by adding a zigzag stitch within the seam allowance so you can avoid fraying in the future Next thing, turn everything uh, the right side up, just like so, and iron everything smooth so we can do a good top stitch. Then you can top stitch everything in place to keep everything nice and tidy. And also you can um, do that for decoration, but mostly is to avoid your seams from rolling later on. So once you have added uh, the bands of fabric to the two body pieces, we are ready to assemble our drawstring bags. So that's how it looks like at the moment. So you're going to take your two body pieces and put them right sides together. Make sure that the two tops are facing the same direction and you're going to pin everything in place. So everything should match. Then you can sew the sides and the bottom with a straight stitch and a one centimeter seam allowance. Don't forget to finish up your seam with a zigzag stitch. The next step is to cut your corners. So that's going to relieve bulk. Make sure that you do not cut through your straight sewing line because otherwise you're going to make holes in your bag. But you can cut through your zigzag stitch. It's not a problem at all. Then you can turn your bag inside out to make sure that you have sharp corners. You can use a chopstick or a pencil to poke gently at the corners to get them out. Do make sure that you do not go too strongly with it because you can make holes in your fabric. The other alternative is to grab each corner, each side of the corner with your hands and just wiggle your corner out. So now for the closure, I'm going to use some laces because that's what I had. I didn't have any ribbons or anything like that, but feel free to use whatever you have at your disposal. And I'm going to cut two lengths of laces and I'm going to make sure that it's um, the length of it is twice as long as the opening of my bag. And I'm going to cut a second one. 
So now to feed your ribbon or your lace through the channel, you will need a safety pin or a nappy pin. And you're going to attach it to one end of your ribbon. Also, I would advise you to pin the other end to your bag because just in case you're getting carried away, you do not run into circle trying to feed everything over and over again. It's especially true when you're dealing with elastic, these things have a tendency to just escape somehow and get lost within your channel. So what you're going to do is feed your safety pin through the channel and just work your way through the other opening. Once you're there, you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Once you're done, just pull the two ends together so it's nice and even and you can tie a knot just to secure everything in place. Then you're going to repeat the same process but from the other side of your bag. Bear in mind that there is many ways you can make a drawstring bag and this is just one of many ways that I'm showing you. And um, feel free to experiment and try different things. Once done, you can secure the laces or the ribbon the same way as you've done with the first one. And after that, you are done with your drawstring bag. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, uh, you can leave a thumbs up so I know I'm um, doing something right. And you can also um, subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my videos ever again. Uh, I'm a bit patchy video-wise at the moment. It's just because I've had a lot of study and some exams and I'm getting really trying to get into a new course. So it's taking a while. But hopefully uh, I'll be able to make more stuff for you very soon. So I'll see you in the next video.